all the anger, all the pain. We don't need to carry that with us for all eternity. Slavery happened, that shit is over. We can live in love right now. Okay? We can rise above all of this. Love is everything we need. We are perfect just the way God made us. Mm -hmm. And it is imperative that we remind each other of that every chance we get. I want my mouth to speak nothing but praise when speaking of you, my beautiful black messiah. I want to be the key to the rusty cage that imprisons black love. Use me. I want to love you as I love my own hands with necessity, with appreciation, with respect. In the bedroom, in the boardroom, in the street, and at the table, give you respectable representation, expecting only truth of you and never fearing it. I want to be a, a queen who makes you proud too. One who makes you understand that making love to me is among your most noble deeds. In me, your seed is not wasted, but savored and manifested before it is measured and devoured, broken down and regenerated on my tongue and through my womb in the game of your school as historic files of your pedigree. I want to work out the kinks of my trying childhood socialization and inferior education with you. Share fantasies and dreams, make plans to follow through, verbally arrest you before working the kinks back into our hair, lay down and cool in our sweat. I want to be the chant in your railroad song and go the distance of the track with you like the Panthers insist, like Montgomery bus strikers persist in the taking of our destiny into our own hands. I want, I want to be the revolution in your black fist eye. I want to be the revolution in your black fist. jabs at each other with our tongues, with our words, so that we can kind of harden each other for this hard life that we have. And I'm past that shit. I don't want to be the help no more. I don't want to watch another slave movie or TV show. I'm not going back. I deserve love and you deserve love. And the people you love deserve to know that you love them. And this is the time of the show where we have love confessions. This is the time where you can take this microphone and use it for good. You can use your tongue for good. Yes, ladies, always use your tongue for good. But this is the chance where you can do it with your words, you know. And it will be a blessing, not just to your partner tonight, but also to the other people in this room who hardly ever get a chance to hear a love confession. I mean, you do it in church for Jesus and you never even met him. Why not take the mic and do a love confession for the person you're actually sharing your life and your bed with? Now is the time. The mic is hot, so come.